Magandang araw sa inyong lahat! Ang ating lesson ay tungkol sa Factoring Perfect Square Trinomials. Ako nga pala si Teacher Abigail. Most Essential Learning Competency Factors completely different types of polynomials, polynomials with common monomial factor, difference of two squares, sum and difference of two cubes, perfect square trinomials, and general trinomials. Objectives. At the end of the topic, 80% of the students with 80% proficiency should be able to First, identify whether the given polynomial is a perfect square trinomial. Second, factor perfect square trinomial. Sige, magkaroon muna tayo ng review. Find the root of the following. Number 1, square root of 4. Tama, ang sagot ay positive or negative 2. Number 2, square root of 25. Magaling! Ang sagot ay positive or negative 5. Number 3, square root of 64. Alam na ba ninyo ang sagot? Tama! Ito ay positive or negative 8. Number 4, square root of 169. Magaling! Ang sagot ay positive or negative 13. Number 5, square root of 400. Tama! Ang sagot ay positive or negative 20. Ngayon, simulan na natin ang ating lesson. Ito'y tungkol sa factoring perfect square trinomials. Ang sabi... A perfect square trinomial has two squared terms and the third term is twice the product of the two expressions being squared. So, we have the given a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And the answer is equal to the quantity a plus b quantity squared. Ang ating unang expression na a squared plus 2ab plus b squared ay perfect square trinomial. Bakit? Ang first term at ang ating third term ay squared terms. At ang middle term naman ay twice the product of the two expressions being squared. Ngayon, alamin natin kung ang ating given ay perfect square trinomial. Una, two of the terms are squares and they are always preceded by a plus sign. Second, if the square root of the squared terms are multiplied and doubled, the third term, usually the middle term, is obtained. Ngayon, ito naman ang mga steps in factoring perfect square trinomials. First, get the square roots of the first and the third terms. Second, express them as a square of a binomial, following the sign of the middle term of the given trinomial. Sige, para mas maunawaan natin ang ating lesson, magkaroon tayo ng example. Determine whether the expression is a perfect square trinomial or not. If it is, give the factors. For letter A, we have x squared plus 14x plus 49. Check if it is a perfect square trinomial or not. Una, two of the terms are squares and they are always preceded by a plus sign. Sige nga, tingnan natin. Ang ating first term ay x squared at ang ating third term ay 49. Tama. Sila ay preceded or they are positive or plus signs at sila ay squared. Next. If the square roots of the squared terms are multiplied and doubled, the third term Usually, the middle term is obtained. 
Ngayon, hahanapin natin ang square root ng x squared at ng 49. Dahil sila ay perfect square, mahanap natin ito. Ang gagawin natin, ang sabi, we're going to double the square root of the squared terms. Yung ating first term at ang ating third term. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng 2 times the quantity the square root of x squared times the quantity the square root of 49. Kaya, magkakaroon tayo ng 2 times the square root of x squared, which is x, times the quantity the square root of 49, which is 7. Kaya kapag minultiply, 2 times x times 7, the answer is 14x. At kung mapapansin ninyo, pareho sila ng ating middle term. So we can say that the given x squared plus 14x plus 49 is a perfect square trinomial. Ngayon, sasagutin na natin ang ating given. So we're going to find the factors of the perfect square trinomial x squared plus 14x plus 49. So ang gagawin lang natin ay simple lang. Hahanapin natin ang square root ng first term, which is x squared, at ang square root ng ating third term, which is 49. Ngayon, ang square root ng x squared ay x, at ang square root naman ng 49 ay 7. Kaya, we arrive to the answer, the quantity x plus 7 quantity squared. For example B, we have P squared plus 18P plus 36. Checking if it is a perfect square trinomial or not. First, two of the terms are squares and they are always preceded by a plus sign. So, dapat ang ating mga squared terms ay positive. So, we have P squared and 36. Dahil sila ay positive, Tama ang ating first part ng checking. Next, if the square roots of the squared terms are multiplied and doubled, the third term, usually the middle term, is obtained. Sige nga, i-check natin. Dahil si P squared ay si 36 ay perfect square, gagamitin na natin ang twice or 2 times the quantity, the square root of P squared, times the quantity, the square root of 36. So, we have 2 times P times 6. And the answer is 12P. Hala, hindi sila pareho ng ating given middle term. So, we can say that our given, which is P squared plus 18P plus 36, is not a perfect square trinomial. Let's have example letter C. We have m squared minus 6m minus 9. Dapat i-check natin kung ito ay perfect square trinomial, ha? Una, two of the terms are squares and they are always preceded by a plus sign. Ang ating given ay m squared minus 6m minus 9. Tingnan nga natin. Hala, ang ating third term which is 9, ay preceded by a minus sign. So, ibig sabihin, sa first condition pa lang, hindi na natin ito na satisfy. Kaya, masasabi natin na ang m squared minus 6m minus 9 is not a perfect square trinomial. Ngayon, example letter D. We have 25c squared minus 20c minus 4. Checking muna tayo kung ito ay perfect square trinomial o hindi, ah. Ngayon, titingnan natin ang ating two terms na squared, ang ating first at ang ating third term. Dapat sila ay preceded ng plus sign. Dapat pareho silang positive. We have the 25c squared and 4. Pareho silang positive. Next, sa so number 2, titingnan naman natin kung ang square root ba ng ating squared terms kapag ito ay minultiplied at 
doubled, dapat kapareho ng ating middle term. Ang 25c squared at ang 4 ay perfect square. Kaya, we have the 2 times the quantity, the square root of 25c squared times the square root of 4. Kaya, 2 times the square root of 25c squared equals 5c. At ang square root naman ng 4 ay 2. So, we multiply 2 times 5c times 2. And the answer is 20c. Pareho sila ng ating given middle term. Kaya, masasabi natin na ang 25c squared minus 20c plus 4 ay isang perfect square trinomial. Dahil ang ating given na 25c squared minus 20c plus 4 ay isang perfect square trinomial, i-factor out natin ito. So we have the quantity, the square root of 25c squared minus square root of 4 quantity squared. So hahanapin natin ang square root ng ating first term at ang ating third term. Kung mapapansin ninyo, Gumamit tayo ng minus sign kasi ang ating middle term ay preceded by a minus sign. Kaya, ang square root ng 25c squared ay 5c. Minus, ang square root naman ng 4 ay 2. So, we have the final answer, the quantity 5c minus 2 quantity squared. Let's exercise our minds. Factor out the given perfect square trinomials. Number 1, we have a squared minus 4a plus 4. Number 2, y squared minus 3y plus 9. Number 3, we have 4m squared plus 28m plus 49. For our math quotable quotes, keep going. Everything you need will come to you at the perfect time. Don't forget to connect with me in the following social media sites. Thank you for watching!